Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Hey guys, welcome to BTECT, Gina here with the Friday update. If you've seen our latest Instagram post, you would have seen that I'm coming to you from a newly kitted out studio and I'm feeling pretty flash right now. If you haven't seen our post and you'd like to check out behind the scenes, make sure you go and follow us on Instagram, our username is BTECT. On that, you've probably also noticed that Instagram has a new logo. At first, I was pretty weirded out by it. There's talk that it looks like a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation template. It's so bad. But Instagram have actually explained themselves. And once you read the explanation, it's kind of cute. I will put a link to their post in the description below. Straight into tech news and it's been a big one this week. First off, Vodafone announced a brand new phone called the Smart Prime 7 and what's interesting about this device is that it only costs £75. I've been trying it out over the past few days and first impressions are if you're on a budget it is not a bad choice. The Huawei P9 Lite was also announced this week and will be available in the UK by the end of the month. Unlike its big brothers, the P9 and the P9 Plus, the Lite version only packs a single 13 megapixel camera on the back of the phone, but it still has that 3 gigabytes of RAM and a 3000 milliamp battery under the hood. You'll be able to pick this one up for £240. There's also been a crazy amount of leaks this week. We've allegedly seen the OnePlus 3 in its rumoured full metal body glory. And leaked pics of the next Moto X show a drastically different direction for the phone. It's got a full metal body, a fingerprint scanner and a massive camera circle on the back of the phone. According to serial leakster Evan Blass, the Moto X will have a modular twist and we can expect two differently specced versions of the phone. And a leaked render of the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus supposedly show these two phones in all of their 3D glory. As you can see they lose the headphone jack, they lose the antenna lines and the plus version has that bigger camera setup for what we can only assume is dual cameras. Onto wearables and Will I Am dropped his own line of smartwatches called Dial. Dial will be available exclusively on the 3 network here in the UK. The smartwatch will take a SIM card so you won't need to use it with a phone and of course being Will I Am's baby it gives you access to stream more than 20 million songs so it is a music lover's dream. And if you've ever wondered why Basil and I don't do stand up videos together. Yeah this is why. Basically I'm a giant. You are a giant. Well you're kind of she described herself as average short earlier today. I'm not that short. Which means she's short. I'm five foot three. Which, I'm six foot three. So that's what a foot looks like on camera. But the reason I'm here isn't to poke fun at Gina being short. It's to talk about the cool stuff I've got a chance to do this week. Um, so Dolby, amazing, wonderful company that makes audio visual stuff just married together like magic. I got to see the Jungle Book with Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision in play. Now I was sitting down and like at various points I actually felt like the sound was going on in my chest. I know that sounds weird but when the bassy bits were happening I was literally like dosh dosh which it's weird, but yeah, if anyone gets the chance to experience Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, Jungle Book's an awesome film, go watch it, but Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, blew my mind. Also, HTC 10 review, it's recorded, it is incoming. I've had one full month with the phone, so stay tuned for that. Next Bit Robin review is being pushed back to next week, and you'll also be getting the Huawei MediaPad M2 10.0 then as well, which I am loving at the moment. We promise those reviews are coming, and we also have to let you know that Honor has a competition right now. If you'd like to win an Honor 7 Flip View case and a VR headset, make sure you enter their competition. You've got two days left to do it, and I will put a link to that in the description below. Amazing. Thanks, Gina, for today's Friday update. Thanks for joining in. Anytime. You guys have a great weekend. Bye. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business.